So, let us so let us actually go to that now. So, so for in order to talk of agreement we need to talk, extend our model a little bit by introducing beliefs. So, Oman model of incomplete information with beliefs. Okay. So, now in addition to what the model that we had earlier, earlier we had players, players had partitions and then uh, we were discussing events right, whether what does a player, whether a player knows an event or not. Now, in addition to that we are going to introduce one more element here which is that we will introduce this p, p of omega is this is which is we will take this to be positive, this is common prior of players so you, again we have n players they have their they have their own partitions and so on but they have their own partitions and again we will be discussing events but in addition to this there is a a belief that they have about the probability with which uh, um, uh, various events, various states of the world are going to occur. Okay. So, earlier we were referring to a situation in which a fixed state of the world was there. Okay. There was a fixed state of the world and we were asking what do players know about a certain event in that state of the world. Okay. Now, players in addition to uh, in, a, in addition to all the stuff that they had earlier, they also have a prior belief saying that well, this is the probability in which various states of the world are going to occur. Okay. So, this is the probability with which it is going to be raining, this is the probability with which it is uh, it's likely that my sensor is, uh, uh, is, is going to malfunction, this is the probability in which with which say uh, this customer is going to con uh, do a fraud or whatever that is what this is this is this is the this is the problem this is the belief prior belief that they have. Now, pri why do why is this called prior? This is called prior because this is the belief that players have before they get any information. Okay. So, this is the belief with which let us say nature is going to choose, this is the pr uh, probability distribution with which nature is going to choose a true state of the world. Okay. Now, nature chooses a true state of the world, players get observation about, about it, okay. they get their limited observations based on their partitions and based on that they now have they can now say well what is more what is likely to be the true state of the world. They cannot actually see the true state of the world because they are limited by their partitions, but they can say well what does what is my belief now about what is what is in fact the state of the world right. So, for example, I have uh, uh, say for example, if you are uh, a, a, a common situation for instance is suppose I, a, you are an investor, you have a certain belief that a certain uh, certain company is going to do well. Now, you get indications about it, you get some news say for example, you get you get news that ok this company has won a certain number of orders ok or that this company has appointed a new CEO. Based on this you can update your belief about what you think is going to be uh, the, the about what you think are going to be the future earnings of the company. Okay. So, that would be what is the, the updated belief that you have is what is called the posterior belief. The belief that you had before you got any information is what is called a prior belief. Okay. So, so let we will go about uh, describing how players update their beliefs and so on, but what we are going to assume throughout is that all players have this common prior belief, okay. a common prior belief. Now, uh, if you if you want to allow for uncommon prior beliefs or, or uh, non-uniform prior beliefs uh, that or beliefs that depend on the player, then the problem changes and that needs to that leads to a um, a different type of model. You have to generalize this model even further. We are going to t stick to the situation where everyone has a common prior belief. Okay, all right, all right. So now let's consider this. Um, so there are four states of the world: omega one. 
omega 2, omega 3 and omega 4 all right. Uh, now, what we will do is just for, as for sake of illustration, I am going to take some numbers here and then we will see, I will modify them to make my point a little clearer. Okay. So, let us take for example, take these as one fourth, one fourth, um, one third and one sixth. This is the prior belief that players have. Okay. The numbers here denote the, these here, they denote the prior. Okay. So, everyone starts off believing that omega 1 is going to occur with probability 1 fourth, omega 2 is going to occur with probability 1 fourth, 3 with 1 third and 4 with omega 4 with 1 sixth. All right. Now, there are two players, player 1 and let us say player 2. The partition of player 1 is like this. He, com is, he cannot distinguish between omega 1 and omega 2 and player 2 cannot distinguish uh, player and uh, he cannot distinguish between omega 1 and omega 2 and he cannot distinguish between omega 3 and omega 4 okay player 2 cannot distinguish between omega 1 and omega 3 and he cannot also distinguish between omega 2 and omega 4 okay and now let us see what how do these players update their beliefs okay when they get some information. Now let us suppose that uh, okay, so I will write out player 1's updated belief or posterior belief. Now, the belief will be based the, the new belief that they have okay, depends on the information that they get. Okay. So, suppose the players get suppose players get so I am going to write out the information and what is going to be my how am I going to write the belief remember the belief is going to be a, a new probability distribution on y again. Okay. So, suppose player 1 knows that one of omega 1 or omega 2 has occurred ok. That means, true state of the world is either omega 1 or omega 2. This is so, his information is either is that either omega 1 or omega 2 has occurred. So, how is he going to com compute his updated or posterior belief about the various events? So, now that he knows that either omega 1 or omega 2 has occurred he knows for sure that omega 3 and omega 4 cannot have could not have occurred. So, those have to get probability 0 right. So, and so, so naturally pro omega 3 and omega 4 are prob have probability 0. What about omega 1 and omega 2? Sorry. Ah, so, in this case it turns out that they, they should they uh, he, he should take them as with he, he should logically say that well omega 1 and omega 2 are equally likely because to begin with also they were equally likely right. So, the, the thing that I am uh, talking about is essentially player 1 has to apply Bayes rule ok. So, player 1 has to apply Bayes rule. So, he gets an information that either omega 1 or omega 2 has occurred he has a certain prior on how wa, what probability they should have occurred with and based on that now he updates his prior to get his posterior belief on the occurrence of omega 1 to omega 4 ok. So, let me write this out. So, so player 1 for example, so he how would he compute the probability of um, uh, omega k when omega 1 comma when omega 1 or omega 2 have occurred how does he compute this? Yeah, so he computes this as as follows. So, he looks at the prior of omega k intersection this divided by the prior probability of of this. Is it clear? So, he looks at the intersection of omega k with with this with the information that he has divided by the probability of that information. 
So, in particular, let us take for example, in part, uh, so more generally, if he has any event, if he wants to prime the probability of that event, when his information is omega 1 comma omega 2, then his, his posterior probability is computed with this. Okay? Okay. So, this kind of a player who does, uh, who, who changes his beliefs based on new information, right, is what is called a Bayesian rational. So, a rational player, what we had said earlier, was someone who just maximizes his utility given w considering a certain distribution of about the probabilities with which various lot uh, uh, possibilities occur. But then if his information is changing, then the, pro the probability distribution with which various things occur would in his mind should also change. And how to update that probability itself is a requires some axioms. Okay. A player that updates his probability in this particular way is what is called a Bayesian rational. Okay. A Bayesian rational player. So, basically he updates his, he, his new probability is equal to the pro posterior probability base or, or the conditional probability of, of the, of uh, his new probability of an event is the conditional probability of that event given the new information. Okay. He could have done many other things. For example, he could have said, well, I get some information based on that. Let me do MLE, for example, maximum likelihood estimation about what could have been the, what could have been the, the true state of the world, right? He could have said, okay, it's, in that case, he would not be say, he would have said, well, is omega 1 more likely or omega 2? The higher, the one with the higher probability would have been his belief that, okay, this is the state of the world. That would have been by, that would have been doing maximum likelihood estimation. That is another axiom and that turns out that leads to a different uh, theory altogether. Our axiom here is that he is, he is, he is Bayesian rational and Bayesian reasoning is, uh, has been established as, uh, as being consistent with all the other axioms of rationality. So, if you are rational, uh, you know, in a holistic way, you basically be, have to be applying Bayes rule. This is also the reason why we use, uh, you know, regularization in machine learning and so on and so forth. All of those, you can, I can go along that tangent on a you know, on another day, but essentially that is the, that is also the, the same logic that is applied here. Okay. So, what does, so what does a player do? Basically, he, uh, he uh, computes the posterior probability uh, for the conditional probability of that event given his information. All right. Okay. So, now based on this, let us just quickly write out what is, what is going to be his posterior distribution. So, what is the probability of omega 1 now? when his information is uh, omega 1 omega 2 his probability is half when what is the probability of omega 2 that is also half what about omega 3 it's 0 and omega 4 is 0 what if his information was omega 3 omega 4 if his information was omega 3 omega 4 then then he knows omega 1 omega 2 could not have occurred because this intersection is empty Right, the intersection here, this intersection here uh, would now be empty. Now, in place of omega 1, omega 2, I have omega 3, omega 4. So, that could not have occurred. So, these two get probability 0. What is the probability of omega 3 now? Updated probability of omega 3? 2 thirds, right. So, with 2 third probability, it is omega 3, and with 1 third probability, it is omega 4. Clear? Okay. So, let us also write out player 2's. posterior. Now, player 2's posterior has to be written in terms of the information that player 2 has. Player 1 could not, we wrote out his player 1's information in this way because player 1 could not distinguish between omega 1, omega 2 and omega 3, omega 4, right. Player 2 has a different information structure. His, he cannot distinguish between omega 1, omega 3, okay. Since he cannot distinguish between omega 1, omega 3, now, when his information is omega 1, omega 3, what are these probabilities? Yeah, 3 by, so omega 1 occurs with probability 3 by 7, omega 2 occurs with probability 0, omega 3 occurs with probability 4 by 7 and uh, omega 4 occurs with probability 0. And what if you have omega 2, omega 4 here? So, if, if it is, if his information is omega 2, omega 4, then omega 1 occurs with probability 0, omega 2 occurs with probability 3 by 5, 
omega 3 occurs with probability 0, omega 4 occurs with probability 2 by 5. This is clear. So, this is how you get these are these are the players posterior beliefs. So, the way things happen is the chain is like this they have a common prior about the probability with which nature is going to pick a true state of the world. The true state of the world is actually chosen, but they do not know which one it is. What they know is just partial some partial information about it. Based on that partial information, they update their prior to get a posterior belief about the true state of the world. Is this clear? This is this is the chain. Okay. Okay. So now let's uh, let's. I've got to, as I said, I'll just change the numbers a little bit because there's a intrinsic co interesting coincidence that I want to show you. Okay. And this coincidence is turns out to be actually a very nice and interesting theorem, deep theorem. So, I am going to change these numbers. So, I have now 1 sixth for omega 1, I have 1, th one third for omega 2, 1 third for omega 3 and uh, 1 sixth again for uh, for omega 4 ok. And now, suppose the true state of the world of the world is uh, omega which is omega star is say omega 1 ok. Of course, players do not know it is omega 1, they this is they, they just uh, they get their information uh, and the way the partitions are if you remember uh, we player 1 could not distinguish between these. So, this is player 1's partition, one element of his partition, this is another element of his partition and for player 2 we had these vertical ones. Okay. The true state of the world is omega uh, omega star which is omega 1 ok that is the true state of the world. And now, let us look at an event A and the event is I am going to write take the event as omega 1 omega 2. Now, the true state of the world is omega star which is omega 1 and the event that we are discussing is omega 1 omega 2 either omega 1 or omega 2 has occurred ok. Now, what is the posterior belief that player uh, player that these players have let us write posterior posterior given see the truth yeah. So, yes see the true state of the world is omega star now ok which is omega 1 here, but players will not know it is omega 1 they will only know their their the element of their partition. So, each player basically knows f i of omega star has occurred right. So, player i knows so, player i knows f i of omega star that is all that player i knows. Now, based on now that the he knows this he has to update his belief earlier his belief was just p of a whatever was the probability of a p of which is p of omega 1 plus p of omega 2. Now, his belief would be the posterior belief would be this given So, for player the posterior belief for player 1 would be p of a given f 1 of omega star and for, for player 2 it would be p of a given f 2 of omega star right. Hmm. So, based on so, so this is the players are being based in Bayesian rational here. So, they are saying well, I have this is the information I have based on this now here is going to be my belief I am going to uh, compute p of a given the conditional probability of a given this information. So, what is p of a given f i of f 1 of omega star f 1 of omega star is what f 1 of omega star is the upper red red one it is just this omega 1 omega 2 hmm? ok. So, what is this let us compute this p of a intersection f 1 of omega star divided by p of f 1 of omega star which is equal to what yeah, which is 
sorry i wrote a wrong a sorry i i need a equal to omega 2 omega 3 sorry my mistake here yeah so what is this a intersection f1 of omega star given uh, div uh, divided by p of f1 of omega star so a intersection f1 of omega star see f1 of omega star is is this a intersection and a is what let me write draw a also here in green a was omega 2 omega 3 so a is this this is your a yeah so a intersection f1 of omega star is is just omega 2 player the red one is player 1's partition right this is for player 1 so this is player 1's partition the blue ones are like this here the blue ones are player 2's partitions So, this uh, so this is going to be p of omega 2 divided by omega 1 plus omega 2 and that is equal to what 1 third divided by 1 third plus 1 sixth which is equal to which is equal to 2 third ok all right. What about uh, the second, what about player 2? Again, P of A intersection F2 of omega star divided by P of F2 of omega star. Now, A intersection F2 of, uh, F2 of omega star is equal to what? It is omega 3. So, p of omega 3 divided by p of omega 1 plus p of omega 3 and that is equal to again, again 2 by 3 right. Alright, these two numbers have turned out to be the same and here is the interesting thing. So, now suppose I asked you the following, I ask you the following question, I am going to write out this, this set, so I will write it in red this set tell me what is this this is omega is all the states of the world omega such that what is this set this is the states of the world in which player 1 ascribes a probability two thirds to the event A, right. What are the states of the world in which player 1 gives probability two thirds to event A, first year probability two thirds to event A. It means what are the states of the world in which player 1 would have a belief that A would occur with probability two thirds, right. That is this, this, this. So, what is this? What kind of set is this? This is itself an event. right this is itself an event this is an it's it's a it's a subset of the states of the world it's itself an event and because this is an event player 2 can now have a belief about this event so play, just so player 2 can now have a belief about the the probability about the belief that player 1 has about a certain event correct. So, now with this now we can start recursing and again create just like we had a knowledge hierarchy in which player we could talk of what player 1 knows of what player 2 knows and, and so on. We can now have a belief hierarchy in which we can talk of what player 1 knows, what player 1 believes of what player 2 believes of what player 3 believes and so on right. So, this is so the so this is now an event. So, we can talk of the probability that player 2 assigns to, ascribes to this event that would then be the, the belief that player 2 would have about the belief that player about the fact that player 1 has a belief 2 thirds about an event A. Is this clear? Right. 
So, okay, so I'm, I won't go into formally describing what a belief hierarchy is, but essentially you can see uh, you all you need to do is to generate a belief hierarchy, you create all possible events and you create all possible numbers here. You also need to tell me, give me a number here, right? Put all possible numbers here because the number tells me what this, this value between 0 and 1 also is part of describing the belief. See, uh, in, a knowledge, in knowledge, it was either you have the knowledge or not, not have the knowledge. It was always about that a player knows something, right? Now, he has a belief, but belief of how much is the question, right? So, belief of, so, so, so when you are generating a belief hierarchy, it is not just about yes or no questions. It is about, you need, you take all possible events and you put all possible probabilities and you t talk of what, you know, questions like the, that player I has belief, that player 2 has belief, that player 3 has belief equal to, equal to something. Right? No, so see, uh, well, yes, in, I don't know exactly what you mean, but essentially now this is now just an event. I don't need to know, I don't need to, I can treat this as any other event and talk of what is the, pro, what is my, posterior, what is a player's posterior belief of this event. By, by just knowing that this is now an event. So, this is now just like any other set, right? This is an, this. so in fact, can you tell me what is this set? Can you tell me what are the states of the world omega in which player 1 ascribes probability 2 third to the event A? So, he, he ascribed probability 2 third to event A in, in state of the world in when his information was f i of omega star which was which uh, f 1 of omega star which was uh, what was f 1 of omega star omega 1 omega 2. So, he ascribes probability two thirds in event in states of the world omega 1 and in states of the world omega 2 as well. But if you actually check it will also he uh, you can do the calculation again it actually turns out that he ascribes probability because of the symmetry and all that here. You can do the calculation again and you will turn out that he, he ascribes probability two thirds also in event omega 3 and omega 4. Okay, uh, or, or in other words, the states of the world in which he ascribes probability two thirds to event A, this is actually equal to y. Okay, so which means that in every state of the world, player, player 1 ascribes probability two thirds to the event A. Now imagine event A was something significant, you know, just, uh, yeah, 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 because of the number. So, that is why I said there are some coincidences here. I have, these numbers have been uh, crafted in this particular way, okay, to make this point, okay. So, but by what is the point? The states of the world in which player, player 1 ascribes probability 2 thirds to event A is, is, is the entire set, which means regardless of what has actually happened, he is going, event A is such that he is going to ascribe probability two thirds to it, okay, all right. What about, what about the same thing for, for player two? What are the states of the world in which player two gives probability two thirds to event A? It turns out this is also y. Again, you know, you can do the calculation. It turns out this is also y. Now, here is here is the interesting thing. You now, and this is where the agreement theorem comes up. Okay, and we don't have the time for a proof today, but I'll I'll let me state what the theorem actually says. Okay, now in so these two events are y, which means what? These two events are actually common knowledge. Right? That means both players are in complete agreement that the other player gives a probability two thirds to the event A. Okay. So, there are, so the, the, so there is a state of the world, there is an event, okay, some, some state of the world omega and there is some event A. Okay. 
and the ev- and, and the event that player 1 ascribes probability two thirds to that event a is common knowledge and the event that player 2 ascribes probability two thirds to that event a is common knowledge can it ever happen that these two numbers Two third and two third here are not two third and two third. They are that they are one third and two third or whatever. So these two events are common knowledge, which means players are in complete agreement over the over the fact that they each ascribe a certain probability to a certain some other reference event A. So they are in complete agreement on the process with which they have arrived at their new probabilities. Okay. so there is an agreement over the application of bayesian rationality or application of bayes rule or application of whatever process is there for updating your belief okay they also started off with a common prior so they started off with a common belief there is agreement over the process by which they apply the by which they update their belief they are also referring to the same event then could they have possibly come up with two different beliefs itself so there is a particular event that they are referring to they start they have a common prior they update their beliefs through a through a process that they completely agree on but then could they have come up with two different answers on this and it turns out that is the theorem that players have to agree so it cannot happen that players can agree to disagree essentially okay they cannot so if they agree on the on the prior and they agree on the process which means they agree that there is there is there is the fact that each guy is applying bayesian rationality is common knowledge if 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 these if 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 these two events are common knowledge okay the event that player 1 ascribes a probability p1 to event a and the event that player 2 ascribes a probability p2 to event a if these two events are common knowledge then p1 and p2 have to be equal they could not have come up with two different answers about it. now what does this mean see for example i'll just give you a, give you a quick uh, quick uh, um, sort of uh, interpretation of this so one of the one of the implications of this is uh, I, I, let's say it's is in finance for example okay so if two players have the same piece two people are observing the same piece of information they start off with same piece of information okay and there is something that is publicly uh, that is publicly made known like for example the results of a company or the resignation of a ceo or something like that there is no and there is complete agreement that both players have on uh, the process with which they are going to be updating their beliefs then they should should both have the same belief about the future, about the they should both have the same posterior belief about you know let's say the event uh, the 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 stock price rising or something like that that means it cannot be that one guy that both players start off as as being bullish both players get the same information they are both in agreement on the process and yet after getting the information one guy is, is turns bearish and the other guy turns is remains bullish okay they have to have the same beliefs later as well no that's the point doesn't matter so two play, so remember the agreement is on the process the agreement is not on the information they are not getting they are not getting the uh, they are not getting the same information and that's why this theorem is non trivial it's not like both are seeing the exact same information they just agree on the process by which they update their perspectives they get they see the world through two different perspectives but they update their perspectives in the in in a in a way in a manner that is common knowledge to both okay in that case the perspective probabilities themselves have to coincide okay so which means so for example the, this is this has an immense implication on the role of automation right you you there is a so much automation in 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 anything involving uncertainty right you want to predict say for example if there is going to be traffic on the road tomorrow okay i have a certain we all have a certain prior belief 
we look at google maps today google maps tells us a prior belief that okay this is likely the travel time and so on tomorrow you get uh, you after that we each get some pieces of information about you know the likely road of road condition and so on we each have an agree are in complete agreement about how we are going to uh, update our beliefs could we now decide to that could we now end up with a different probability of there being traffic on the road because this probability will decide what time we leave and so on and so forth right could we possibly end up with a different probability we started off with the same probability we agreed on the process but of course we got two different pieces of information could we have possibly gotten two different uh, two different probabilities after getting that information the answer is no so so the reason so the so so what this theorem basically tells you is actually i'll i'll state this formally next time but what it is essentially telling you is that disagreements can occur essentially due to one of two reasons okay either that there is no agreement on the process of updating or you didn't agree to begin with there were no common priors to begin with you had people had some biases okay yeah it's not that trivial see information of course the fa the 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 uh, the information the uh, the information structure is what contributes to this becoming common knowledge once it is common knowledge it doesn't matter that they are getting in different information okay i'll just write the theorem and we'll then end the class here so theorem is this let a be an event and let omega star in y be a state of the world if the event that player 1 describes probability q1 to a and the event that player 2 describes probability q2 to a are common knowledge then q1 equals q2 So this is the theorem we'll prove this next time